I'm not cleaning my room. You baby. Why should I anyway? Most weebs live in filth, so I'll just be who I am. Ugh. Real talk though. I'm not I'm not a filthy kind of guy. Oh, let me fix this light. That somehow looks worse. No, normally I would try to frame this shot better because now you can see the back of my computer, but I just don't care. Yeah, I shaved my beard. So what? Figured I'd look less homeless if I just shaved. <laughs> All right, yo. Hey, everybody. And welcome to another unboxing. <laughs> no, I would never hit poo like that. I love this guy. He's such a cutie. And if you don't know who he is, well, then you clearly haven't watched Yu Yu Hakusho. Speaking of which, I bought all of the volumes of Yu Yu Hakusho from Right Stuff, and they only sent me these ones. So I have some of them, but they still haven't stocked the rest of the series, but it says that they're expecting more, but I ordered these in August of last year. Do I just give up? Can I even return these? It's past 14 days, so... But that's your fault. I don't know. Should've just bought Berserk. So anyway, Hipster here with a glass bottle of water, you yummy! You and unlike some people, I actually buy figures. So today, I'm gonna share with you some dope figures I got from Japan. Sorry, Pooh. I'm really, I really, I feel really bad that I just did that. I got him from Japan too. So yeah, I never got my order for January nor February, I believe. So we're rolling it into March, and March is gonna be my biggest figure order ever. It really will be though. I do have some stragglers, if you know what that means. You probably don't. The first one is this, an Ami Ami package. Let's not waste any old time. We've already got platform set, yet this week we didn't need it because the camera's a wider angle today. Oops. <laughs> All right, so the big boy mic just died, but I'm gonna talk to you through this mic instead. Today I actually have a knife ready. It's this X-Acto knife. It was really cheap, but for good reason. It's junk. I got this, I wanna say, no, it's not been a year, but I did order this towards the end of last year. Maybe September? I don't know. No, no, I paid for it towards the end of last year. Definitely in the final quarter. It took four months to arrive, and that's because I ordered it with, what did I use? Parcel premium or something, you know, the air parcel, the, the cheapest option Ami Ami offers. And I'll say this, out of three orders that I've done with this option, this is the only one I've ever received yet. It was the cheapest way to ship this, but you'll see why I did it. So how have you guys been? You know I gotta ask that because I'm opening up a box. This was also a figure that had to ship on its own. Here's a comic. That was, that one flew far. <laughs> There's really only so much I can show you. Uh, this is my big, stinky Mothra. That's right, boys and girls. I ordered the big, stinky Mothra, and uh, it's finally here. This is from the Tokyo Daikaiju series of figures. Is it from X Plus, maybe? I don't remember. This is just Mothra from the 1992 movie, uh, Mothra vs. Godzilla, I guess? Maybe. It might not be. I don't know. Either way, it's a really nice figure. If you've never seen these, it's like a really cute little, I guess almost not a diorama, but it's just a huge version of this kaiju, which is really nice because it's a very high quality figure, and uh, I don't know where I'm gonna put it. This is the first one of these I ever got. I don't know if I'm gonna regret it. We'll see. I tried to cancel the order, but it was too late. They were like, no, it's already staged for shipping. You have to pay for it. Or you already did, so it's going on its way. So it's here. I don't know if I'm gonna display it, but whatever. And as cool as that is, I've gotta show you guys something that I already opened and I'm pretty mad about. This is, boom, Figma number 363. And this is just Joker from Persona 5. Everybody loves Joker. Everybody loves Persona 5. This channel has a huge connection to that. I got this from some dude on eBay. And then when I received it, I looked at the box. This is a brand new version of this. You might not be able to see it, but there's a huge dent in the bottom of this box. And I messaged the seller and I was like, dude, you didn't put enough filler in this packaging and it showed up beat. And he's just like, 
Well, nothing happened to the figure, so that's good. What? You don't just get to decide whether or not this is okay to like be accepted as a purchase. As an eBayer, you are fully responsible to properly package something so it doesn't get damaged in shipment. And it was an expensive figure because this is, you know, one of those figures that's pretty highly coveted, especially new. So I'm gonna leave the guy bad review. The next parcel is from the US Gundam store. And I know you guys love that. What have you guys been buying lately? Anything cool? Any nice uh, figures or model kits that you should tell me about? Why don't you let me know in the comments below? I always love to see what you gotta say. This one was a very spur of the moment impulse buy. You'll see in a moment. If you're already in the Discord, which if you're not, you should join, uh, you'll know that I already posted about this. This is a model kit, not a figure, of Hress Velgar from the line of, what is it? Frame Arms Girl, that's what she is. This is like the swimsuit di edition. It's just adorable and it comes with so many great little accessories. This is a fun kit and I can't wait to put it together because I'm actually getting into putting together my kits lately. And uh, that's pretty rare because for a long time I just wasn't. A lot of fun, I'm sure, once it's put together. But we still have to work on the other Kotobukiya kit we're doing of Tamama no Mai. Oh, hey. Another cool thing is that US Gundam Store will usually send you something for free with your order as well. It isn't much, but I know someone who'd rather like this. We got a sick clear file this month with Sazabi on it, which is really cool. The back just has some USGS logo and inside my order paperwork, but also a sticker, but it's not Sazabi. It's very close, but it's Grim Gerd. I don't know what mobile suit this is or what it's from. I know Sazabi. I zoom back out, that's what I'm talking about. You saw the slow focus and I'm about to show you another box. This is open. This has been open for a while and I never showed it to you guys in an unboxing. Mainly because I was gonna use it for a funny idea, but I, um, I ordered the Corone uh, Opie mouse pad. This is an official one though. This is the only reason I bought this. This is not some weird, you know, one that I bought on like Etsy or something. It's like the actual official Hololive licensed version of the Opie mouse pad of Corone. I'm probably not gonna use it though. I'm probably just gonna, Never mind. Next, this is also opened, but I didn't open it all the way. And I know you're gonna love it. This guy got delayed into oblivion. What I mean that? That I finally got from Doro Hedoro. It's Gyoza Fairy. I, I, I don't know why I bought this. Good Smile do be making some pretty sick boxes every so often. If you can see in the light here, it has like lizard scales all over it. That's a lot of fun. It's a cute figure, but from what I understand, the character is really not even in the show. And um, I never even watched Doro Hedoro. So I'm probably not gonna keep this either. I shouldn't say probably, he's already sold. <laughs> Now this next one I got off MFC and it's a really rare figure and it's part of a bigger plan. So I'm not gonna show you what it is, but I will show you it's censored. So make with that what you will. Uh, the next, no. You know what? Yeah, we'll do this one. You know, I've been going kind of crazy on eBay, but this was a great deal. Like this guy was selling just a ton of Figmas for dirt cheap. He started them all at one penny for bidding. Also, how have you guys been? I do have to ask you that. <laughs> I'm just worried about how good they're gonna look. Everybody takes chances when they're buying a used figure. I bought uh, several and they're all from the same thing. We got Tracer from Overwatch. I love Tracer. I always wanted this Figma cause it's cute, but I never pulled the trigger. And Tracer is one of my favorite characters from Overwatch. So there's that. I also got Genji. I mean, it's like a pro Genji right there. Why would you not get Genji? And third, I was insane enough to get the Edgelord himself, Reaper. Because Reaper's just cool. Like he's got a cool design. These are nice figures. All of these Figmas are actually pretty damn nice. Whether or not this guy took care of them, this looks like it might actually be new. No, there's no way. The boxes aren't in the best of shape. The, pr the thing is, is I just got them for such a good deal. I got each one of these for like less than $20. Funny enough, the most expensive thing was the shipping because this guy shipped from Canada. So I purchased them all and he charged me like $30 to ship them. I spent about what it costs for one Figma 
to receive that entire stack of Figmas, which is probably one of my best pickups on eBay in a long time. I just gotta make sure I'm not forgetting anything because it sucks that I really don't have a crazy order this month. But hopefully, me just talking to you is more entertaining than me opening a bunch of stuff you don't care about. You tell me. Now the last parcel is an international parcel, and this one is thanks to our good friend, Schnibbles. If you don't know Schnibbles, he is a Discord user who is in the Kingdom. He likes Polynesians, we talk, he's a sweet guy. I pretty much just imagine this guy is a Shiba Inu sitting by a heater. Even if he's not, he came through big time with this parcel for me. Now this one is a bit of an anomaly because it's like covered in tape and I don't know where to put the knife. And since multiple angles of this box would dox me, I'm gonna just real quickly open it off camera. Oh, uh-oh, uh-oh, oh shit. So another thing that he put in this parcel, which is really sweet, was just a couple of accessories. I didn't ask for these at all. He just found them and they definitely work for what we would use them for. They're just small accessories of an inner tube, like one that you would take to the beach, you know, just a simple float, a little volleyball or beach ball, whatever you want to call it. And finally, you can't really tell, but it is a melting popsicle. I'm holding it by the stick. So yeah, a popsicle, a beach ball, and an inner tube. He showed me his Polynesian of Shamrock bikini version holding the uh, float on, and they work really good for 112. So thanks a lot for that, Schnibbles. Actually, thanks for all of this because this is a pretty big deal that I got it. Now, everybody's gotten this by now, but it's just interesting to finally have it here. Will I review it? I don't know, because I feel like everybody already did. And this is where it gets really scary because I'm just cutting into the bubble wrap. I'm gonna do this from this angle. Homeboy was especially good with the packaging. It's completely covered in bubble wrap. And then of course, tissue. Whoa, look at that. No, in all honesty though, this is what is it called? Like the Shenha or the Shaoha? I don't remember the name. There was a special name for whatever this dress and situation is, but it's the Mayathos Miku. Now, this was exclusive to the, I think, Mayathos website or something. There were some proxies that were available to order it from, but I completely missed them. And uh, needless to say, I really wanted it. This was a big deal when it got announced. Everybody was like, yo, this is the most beautiful figure I've ever seen. Everybody was freaking out over it. And I personally was as well because I love Miku and I really liked this design, but it took them so long to release it. And then when they finally did, it took a really long time for them to ship it directly to Schnibbles who then proxied it to me. And there were people that got it like right after release. And I'm not complaining to, about Schnibbles. Schnibbles is a sweetheart and I love him. Um, it's just that now, like I've already seen the figure reviewed and even Zenny reviewed it, which is great. You should go watch that. But uh, yeah, she was really expensive as well. So like, I almost feel like opening her now would maybe be a mistake. I don't know. What do you guys think? Should I open her? Let me know. Either way, it's cool that I got her and Schnibbles coming through like that was super awesome. Thank you so much, Schnibbles. I didn't pay any exorbitant amount to import this thing. So that was really nice. It's always great to have friends in other places. And this month's gonna be easy to stack because there's really nothing here, but the Mothra makes a great base. Something just fell and I don't know what it was. Oh, yeah, baby. And there we have it. That is the month of, I guess, March? No, uh, this is a bunch of random stuff, but this is how we're going to do things for this month's haul video. So if you wanna use the parcel premium or whatever, I guess it works, it takes really long, but that was like 90 bucks to ship originally. I think I might've spent 50 with Surface Parcel, and I just don't think it was worth it. It took so long to get that. This is gonna fall. Be careful buying on eBay because while you can get some awesome stuff like these three Figmas, you could get a brand new Joker with a giant dent in the box because the jackass that shipped it decided to not put any filler in the box. Great, because the figure only goes between $150 or more. So yeah, why protect it? I didn't pay that though. I actually got a pretty good deal on it. Joseph Ferry got pushed back into oblivion. I'm pretty sure he was supposed to come out in like December, but here he is now in March and uh, he's already on his way out the door. 
Press Velgar looks great in a bikini. Can't wait to put it together and smell her super soaker. What does that mean? I can't tell you. Finally, up top, secret figure. Can't show you it until it's time to do so. And Corona mouse pad because dog waifu is best waifu. Actually, here. They like even had the nerve to make her like super bashful and blushing. Come on, y'all know what y'all were doing. But what did you guys think of this video? Was this haul corny? Or did you like seeing a bunch of wacky random stuff even though four of these figures were Figmas? Don't forget there's a massive Mothra at the bottom here, so that's pretty hype. But until next time, guys, stay safe, drink all your water, and uh, Hress Velgar here says, keep on collecting. But no, in all honesty, next month, or well, this month is going to be a huge order when they finally invoice me. I'm actually really scared because I had another single shipment figure coming out this month. Let's not talk about it now. By the middle of next month, hopefully, I'll have some awesome stuff to show you. If you haven't already, make sure to join the Discord because we have a lot of fun in there. People are always joining and talking, and you get to find out when things are coming out and what I'm working on. And you can just meet nice people. I'm also gonna link something right here for you to check out. So make sure to click that video to help the channel. And if you really want to, use my Hobby Link Japan link to get some figures and you'll pay no more, but I'll get a small commission. I've been streaming a lot of Elden Ring and hopefully I'll be streaming even more fun stuff soon. So stick around, subscribe if you haven't, like the video to help me out. And me and Pooh are going to go to bed together. Imagine that.